Hi friends, Andre Dowdy here. Welcome to season three of The Real Lesson Within, where we explore a movie clip and then find those teachable moments within it. I am so excited to show you what this season has to offer. Enough of me talking, let's get started. Here are three things that we can learn from this movie clip from the movie Minari. Number one, read the room. Sometimes those rough conversations are going to happen. But before you dive in, You've got to read the room. You've got to check your surroundings and understand, is this the appropriate time to share? Also, you've got to be well aware of what's happening in the room before you launch into the conversation. Before you go off, before you talk, before you discuss, maybe others are not in that mindset to have that conversation. So you've got to be able to read the room and assess, is this the perfect time? Is this the time to analyze? Is this the time just to listen? Is this the time to speak and speak your truth to power? Or is this just the time to chill? In this scene, Monica was not feeling herself. You could tell that Monica had some heavy burdens on her. And Jacob, well, he just was not reading the room. Jacob had no clue what Monica was going through. Jacob didn't read the room. He was not present. He was not listening. He was not analyzing the situation. He was only thinking about himself. Inside of our classrooms, inside of our organizations, are we only thinking about ourselves? Are we able to read the room? Are we seeing what our employers, I mean, our employees are doing? Are we seeing what our educators are doing? Are we really having that empathy for our students? Think about this in the profession where you work. Are you reading the room as a leader? Are you looking around to determine, to analyze, to see if others are okay? Or are you just mindlessly going about your business and not able to analyze and read that room? Are your parents disgruntled and you have no clue? Are your teachers tired and you have no clue? Are your students weary and you have no clue? Are you like Jacob? Are you reading the room? 아까 병원에서도 당신 농장이랑 우리 중에 농장을 선택했어. 지금은 상황이 다르잖아. 어? 이제 다잘 됐잖아. 상황이 좋으면 함께 사는 거고 아니면 헤어지는 거야? 그만 좀 하자. 어? 이제부터 그냥 돈만 벌면 아무 문제 없이 살수 있어. 그러니까 당신 말은 우리는 서로를 구해주지 못하지만 돈이 날수 있다. Number two, choices are difficult. In this scene, Monica was going back and forth in her mind. On one side, she had been sacrificing for the family and sacrificing because she saw the dream in Jacob and she was sacrificing and she was sacrificing her health, her mental health, the emotional health, physical health. She was trying her best to take care of her family and her mom was in the picture. She's trying very hard to sacrifice. On the other end, that sacrifice was hurting her, was hurting her family. That choice to leave was difficult. I'm sure she was going back and forth in her mind every moment, every day, every hour. Do I make this choice? Do I stay and work? Do I keep going or do I quit? Am I completing this mission, this vision, this value, this family? Or am I breaking it up? 
I can imagine she was going through every scenario in her head. If I leave, what happens to my son? If I leave, what happens to my mother? If I leave, where do we live? Where do we go? On the other thing, on the other end, if I stay, what happens? If I stay, how will this look? What is the one, three, five year plan? I'm sure that scenario was going back and forth and she was going through every little idea. But she had a choice to make and that choice was very difficult. Inside of our classrooms, inside of our organizations, we have to make the tough choices and they are going to be challenging. They are going to be difficult and they require some transparency. Choices are difficult. But my father, I'm not a good job, but I don't have We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be Number three, do what is best. Monica had a decision to make. She made it. She did what was best for her and her family. Inside of our classrooms, we know the goal. The goal is to teach our students, give them the tools and the strategies to learn at their level so they can become their best. As leaders, we know what that goal is, is to help our employees, to help our teachers, to help our staff, to help our faculty be their best. And the only way they can do that is if we do what is best for our schools, for our staff, for our faculty. We know what students need to do to learn. We know how to best help and support our teachers. It's just that simple. Do what's best. What I love best about the movie was the little kid, Alan Kim, uh, playing the character as David. He stole the show for me, uh, and he was just so amazing at that young of an age. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Those are the three things that I noticed in this clip, Minari. Uh, what three things did you see from this movie clip? I love to hear about it. Share it out in the comment section. Let us know. If you see a movie that you would like for us to analyze, go ahead and reach out to us as well. Uh, I love to take a look at it and see if we can find some real lessons within. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing to the channel. There are going to be more videos just like this. Also, please share this thing. If you know other educators, if you know other leaders who can use this clip in their classroom, in their areas, in their places of interest, share that too. I appreciate you all watching. See you next time.